Emily here with another how to draw video. In this lesson, I hope this sloth has inspired you to pick up your pencil and draw with me. Grab a good piece of paper. We're going to build our texture, so make sure you've got a really good piece of paper. I always use a cardstock um, type of piece of paper. It's, it's thick um, and it's very smooth. That way, when I do a lot of erasing and adding uh, layers of texture and um, graphite, that it doesn't tear a hole in my paper. So try to get something that is of good quality, okay? Now, if you don't have it this time, that's fine. Let's just, let's just draw and have fun. How's that? So this sloth, let's not make him any bigger than he really needs to be. Let's keep him in proportion. My finger is covering his uh, face, so he's not that big. He's kind of maybe the size of a nickel, maybe a quarter of in U.S. money. Um, so, yay. Oh, I have to show you while you grab your supplies, your pencil, your stomp, your eraser. Look, I have some artists who have enjoyed some of my YouTube videos and posted it on Facebook, so I get so tickled uh, when I see art um, in different ways. I mean, I don't do the colored pencil. This is all this is all this um, YouTube friends um, doing. So look at how awesome these are. These are all videos, or actually, this is a summer camp I did. Uh, That's my sea turtle. I'm in love with sea turtles. Um, puppy dogs, all the YouTube videos um, that we have. So, see what you can do. See, there it is. Uh, see if you can get some of those videos and do some of them. That would be great. That would be great. And look, my daughter for my birthday gave me uh, pictures of some of the YouTube videos we've done the possum and the fluffy owl. My daughter did a great job. Look at that. Love you, Mom, on my birthday. How sweet is that? That's the best gift ever, I have to say, is art. Uh, for me, anyway. I know some people are like, bleh, I'd rather have a, a video game or new electronic, but I'm all about a pencil and a paper. So, let's get started. We're going to draw real light. We're going to draw real loose. Um, get your get your nickel size. Um, circle on there. It's not perfect. See, my circle is not perfect, so don't don't try to you know be a perfectionist. Now with the with the face, let's block in the the face with a contour line. So split the face um, in in four quarters with the two contour lines. So the contour meaning curved line. Now this is a more advanced class than the a YouTube video than than most of you are used to. So um, if you want to, just watch this one and then, then follow along and draw with us. That's great. But if you need to take some time and, and go slow, hit the pause button, okay? Don't get mad at me. Just hit that pause button, okay? Because we're going we're gonna to take our time, but we're going to get it done. So right where the two lines intersect, let's go below that, and let's get a nice arch going right there for the nose. So we have a nice arch. Let's pull it back around, uh, creating the nose. It's not really a circle. It's a nose shape. <laughs> um, I want a reflective spot on the top where my light, usually when I draw, my light is coming from the right. So that's where the light is beaming off of his nose. So he has two nostrils. Let's do two, one on each side of that line, real dark. Let's make those super, super dark. Now, if you have a darker pencil, um, like a 2B, I have a 2B, I'm going to darken that in with my 2B. See, that's what those extra pencils are for, you know, those H and Bs and all those good numbered things. Um, that way, when I, when I go and I do his nose, color that in, you can notice um, the space and stuff. We're going to take that stomp later and give it a good cover blending, okay? So, from here, I'm going to use this line that we created here to, to do the eyes. So, the eyes are just going to be closed and squinting. So, use your line as a guide where you want to put those. So, the near eye is a little larger than the one further away. Right? Good, good, good. 
Now, for his eye, he has these these uh, patches on his eye that are just a little bit dark. Some are light. I don't I don't study sloths very much. I just think they're absolutely cute. So, who doesn't think they're cute, right? So right here, I'm going to do a a curved line right here, and I'm going to pull that eye patch back toward the edge of his face. Okay, is that good? I don't really like how round this one is, so I'm going to take it. Ooh, that was Texan. Round. Oh, goodness. And I'm going to kind of curve this one like I did this. Curve that and go back with it. Good. That looks much better. Now, for the cheeks, let's give him a nice backward C right here. And then let's do that under this cheek also. This one being larger because what? It's closer to us. If it's further away, it's going to be smaller. Excellent. You catch on so quickly. I love that. So inside of the cute cheeks, we're going to put his nice, happy smile right there. Got that? Good. It's close to the nose, but not far away. And then we have his chin tucked down here. Good. Have you hit pause yet? You're going to give me a thumbs up down on the bottom. Give me, give me a nice thumbs up that you are enjoying uh, drawing with Art with Albright. Yay, thumbs up. And share this video. Share with your grandparents, your friends, your aunts, your uncles. Everybody needs to learn to draw. Get what's in your imagination and put it on the paper. That's why you're going to draw all uh, 100 of my videos when I get 100 on YouTube. And then you can build your confidence and be a great artist. So I'm going to take my little eraser and I'm going to clean up the face a little. Get rid of those um, nice line guidelines in there. Okay, I'm not getting rid of all of them because my eraser just doesn't get into those little nooks and crannies, which is okay. And I'm going to shade just a little bit right here by the eye, give his nose some, some um, definition. See how I did that? Just take a little shading and go for it. So now let's take his head. He doesn't have this round head, does he? He has a more of a flat head. So let's just make a little curve right above there, take off the top, get rid of that, starting to look more like a sloth. Now this big bubble of a cheek over here, that is going to have to go away. Let's come from where we have that C and pull it down and get rid of that line. Okay, I'll try to slow down. I know I go fast. I get excited when I start drawing. I'm like, ah! You ever get excited and just keep going and going, going and going? Now this is his cheek, so we want the head to come behind it. So pull the head behind it. He looks a little creepy right now, but we're really going to make an adorable sloth, so stick with me. So from here, we have the nice cheek coming down. I had mine like straight, so I'm going to have to curve that. And we're going to put a mask um, kind of on his mouth area. Um, so let's lighten up this area right here. Let's get rid of those lines. Curve that. I'm going to just sketch it in like this and bring it down. And it's a mask because this, this area of his body is different color than the rest of his body. You with me? So then pull down the side of the neck right there. And this side is coming down this direction. And he's hanging off of a tree. So let's swoop that arm out and up just like that so we're gonna have to put the tree somewhere so let's do that in, a, in just a second let's fix this arm over here so we have his neck let's pull it let's pull it down kind of like at the angle right there you have to eyeball this so take your time you can pause me I'm, I'm okay with that and then angle it up while he's waving at you wouldn't that be cool if you just saw a sloth not just in a zoo but in the world and he just waved at you that'd be so cute I'm an animal person it's okay so we're gonna leave his hand right there because his fingernails are are a lot of detail so we're just gonna leave that alone and move on to putting that tree branch up here so I'm going to take this arm right here we've got it coming up and I think the tree is gonna be like right about here 
So I want to go up, 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 just like that off my off the screen, and I'm going to erase a little. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to go real light in this area because that's where his leg is going to wrap around. So I don't want to draw it too dark because when you draw dark, you cut into the paper. So try not to draw dark uh, when you're building your story, you're building your character. Now it's thicker down at the bottom. I'm going to go smaller up at the top. As it goes up, 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 we're going to get a little thinner, not too much. Oh, he's such a clown. He looks like a clown right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Should we put hair? Let's put some hair on this guy. There's the middle of the head. Let's have like a, a nice big, big piece of hair right there. And it goes backwards coming down. There we go. Let's put some hair on him. Just make him look happy, right? Oh my goodness. How funny. He's so funny looking. Oh my goodness. That's funny. So, okay, we're down here. The neck goes here. I think mine's a little too long. Let's let's make it a little shorter. There you go. See, I'm a pencil draw for a reason. And this line shouldn't be there. So there we go. Everybody ready? We're on to the next spot. Okay, the big belly. Let's do a big belly right here. Let's just do like a, a nice contour, almost a circle, but not really, right there. And then for his leg, I'm going to draw... A good size oval right there we're gonna have to start building this leg and then let's see here's the the leg the the hamstring whatever I'm not sure I should know and then the other part of the leg right there how's that did we do it I think that'll work and then from here I'm gonna try to let you catch up but I sure I go I just get going I just get going and going and going Ah, don't get mad, don't get mad, don't get frustrated, just hit the pause button. Right, hit the pause button. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I'm going to pause. There you go. So, from here we're going to swoop down, and we're going to swoop underneath uh, his leg. So, try to go swoop underneath the leg. I'm going to leave him light because I want it to be a rough sketch. Yes, you're with me? Excellent. So we have this arm going up, and we've got the leg here, the belly swooping this direction. So we have this. Let's take his leg, and I'm going to pull it this direction, and then I'm going to come up and follow that leg like it's curled around the branch. Now notice I'm not I'm not using I'm not going on the little guidelines I'm going around them because I really want um, to make this look uh, like a real leg. Does that make sense? I made a mess of my page, but it's going to be okay. It's helped me. So this belly I'm going to pull it up like this and into the body like that. So there's two bumps here now. Does that make sense? It's hard to. Uh, build a character that is all wadded up. <laughs> he is wadded up. So now I'm going to just take my handy dandy eraser and I'm going to clean up his leg. Help you to see how easy that was when we use uh, our shapes to help build our character. Okay, you, you got to see how we used all our shapes. My, my, uh, eraser just made gummy stuff all over my art. Ew! I don't like when that happens. Somebody must have used my eraser on something else. Ugh. Okay, so we have the leg. Let's keep working on this because it's still not it's still not right. Let's let's curve this a little more and make that go down and more around. There. Let's get that happening better. We don't want it to look too creepy. It's not really creepy, but it could be. It could be creepy if we don't work on it. So that other leg is being tucked back here. We've got his uh, his front leg worked right here. We got the bottom here and the other leg tucked behind and it's going to come out this direction. So we need a oval right here. 
Okay, we need an oval there. This is going to be his little toenails coming up, and they're going to be underneath that leg right there. So curve the toenails. They're real long. Curve them. Don't make them all stuck together. Kind of bring them out and give them their own space on the page. Make them more defined. Mine are real dark. I'm going to have to just take my eraser and go clean them up. This is this is more advanced than we're, we're used to. So take your time and go slow and re redo and redo the video if you need. So from here, I'm going to tuck that hand, or that leg actually, um, and curve curve this area right here where the, the tree meets the foot. You see how that is? We used that oval to help us. Now let's erase it. And we've got those toes right there. So make sure the ends curve onto that foot. You see how that's working? That's working much better. It's working much better. I like that. And I'm going to lighten it up because I keep drawing on it and making it dark. So I'm going to lighten that up. We've got this leg curved over. Let's do that. Curve that over. Make that happen. And it's tucking, it's going back that direction. So make sure to give that some space. Whew, that one's kind of hard. You did an excellent job so far. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's work on this arm over here. He's got it coming up behind um, the tree. So we want an oval right here. That's where the, the hand and the nails are going to come out. And they're going to come down and join the rest of the arm back here. See the back of the arm here? So let's darken in this branch. On trees, I kind of do a wavy, bumpy line because it has that tree bark on it. Okay. Now for this oval, let's clean up the ends because we're going to draw our uh, fingernails on it. So the fingernails, now this one's kind of tricky because how is he curved um, onto the, the branch? Let's curve them uh, with a contour line. Just curve that line and go back up and then I put a little uh, in on the top. You got that? So the next nail, it might just be so close to this one. Let's just make it dark and put that in up there and then curve it down. Bring it down lower because it's closer to us. And then let's just do one more. Curve that, tuck it down, bring it back and make sure to give it its own line. When you pull that in there, give it its own line. There you go. That's looking awesome. Very good. Kind of creepy still, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So curve it right underneath and bring that paw back around. If you want to give it some, some lines, curved lines going around, give it some texture. Go ahead. It's looking good. Looking really good. Now this one, let's give it some texture going up and down. And this part is, I'm going to just start shading just to, so we know what it's connected to. Okay, we're going to shade that because it's further away underneath all of the trees. So it's darker under there. Let's do that. It's furthest from the light. Let's do that. Good. Good, good, good. That's looking good. Now let's go build his face better. What do you think? I think we need to work on his face, give him some more personality. Uh, I guess I should stop using that eraser. It's not working. Look, I just don't like dirty erasers. How's that? Now, for his hair, he's got some real fun, um, it looks like a toupee, I think, on the top. So just give him some random squiggly lines, you know, some nice random chaos, and then shade it in. Shade in the top of his head, down the sides, down the side right there, and then back behind this one. Let's give him some texture. Can you say texture? My hair is too much texture today, so I'm going to wear a ball cap. So his eyes on my picture, I left it um, light. They usually have these dark patches, 
but I don't want to take away from his character, so I'm not going to make it um, too much. But his chin, I'm going to shade. I'm going to shade under there, and I'm going to kind of pull it in and shade around. Let's grab that stomp and just work it. There we go. Much better. Might as well just do the top of the head and go around, do his nose, give him his shading. Ta-da! That's so much better. So right here, it's going to be darker because that's where he's creased. And then we've got this arm, so let's go ahead and give him texture here. And then he's got these fingernails coming out here. So make your, make your C right here. We did ends over there because it was upside down. And we're going to have him pointing. Like he's like pointing at you. Like, hey, you, what you doing? What you doing? So then we're going to put another U here. And I'm going to make him a little smaller because these are the back fingers. The front finger, the pointer finger is the biggest on these creatures. So there we go. We've got all those. Now let's pull this back, give them texture, a couple of zigzags down the down the elbow, and then change their direction once you get down there. Change the direction of your of your hair fuzz. And then let's give them some fuzz here. Texture, texture all the way around. Making sure you Take your time and enjoy what you're doing. You have to enjoy what you're doing or it's not fun. Now for his face, I'm going to get rid of these hard curve lines for the cheeks. I don't really enjoy those. I want to add texture. You see what I'm saying when I say texture? I'm just making zigzags, giving it more of a hair look, more of a texture look. And I'm going to bring down his nose a little. Make it a little shadow there. And maybe his eyes. We'll just shade those in. We'll just shade all of them. How's that? There. He looks too bright white. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you just go with it, right? So, let's see here. I have his fuzz everywhere. We've got this. Um, let's see. What else do we need to add? We have this line here because that's his his chest area and then he's got his arms going that direction the big leg going this direction let's add texture to that texture texture to everything on this dude because he's got lots of hair now let's shade where we need okay anywhere there's overlapping anywhere there's um, less light Okay, anywhere that's furthest from the light source. Okay, light source coming from this direction. Anywhere there's overlapping. So think about those things. And on this guy, you can just use squiggles. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Because he is furry, fuzzy, right? He's furry, fuzzy. That's funny. So grab your stomp, your blending tool. Actually, let me put some some contour lines on my branch to make it look like it's rounded. See, I'm just using contour lines going up the tree. So just go up the tree, giving it some contour scratch marks, random, some close, some far away. And that way when we blend it, it looks like a rounded object. That's the secret. So take your stomp, blend, blend, blend those lines. Give it a good once over, maybe twice. Start blending it, giving your guy a character, um, some life. What do we name this guy? That's the question of the day. What do we name this cute sloth? Anybody have any ideas? I am, I'm a foster mom of dogs. I'm out of ideas on names. Names, names, names. Right now we have a Great Dane named Pascal. So I like to draw Pascal. So what do you think? Do you, did you enjoy drawing a sloth with me today? Something different than our than our usual everyday easy schmeezy um, drawings? Or do you like having uh, a little more of a challenge? 
I enjoy a challenge once in a while. So thanks for drawing with me. I hope you check out a couple of my other videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Check out some of my other videos, the, the easier things to do. And if you like this and you give me a thumbs up and you share it with all your friends, then I'm going to um, draw some more um, fun, exciting things for you to do. So make sure to sign your art. That's the best thing an artist can do is sign your art and tell others about how much you love to draw. Thanks, guys.